Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a monthly favorites. I haven't done one of these since I believe June, so I'm really excited to share the products that I've been loving this month, what I've been using, like my go-to new goodies. All of these products are really, really good. I would highly recommend them to all my friends and family, so obviously I had to share it with you guys. I think you are also gonna love these products, so let's get started. But before we do, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, it would mean so much to me. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, it helps me out a lot. And you can follow me on Instagram right here. Let's get started. So I think I'm gonna go in the order of how you apply your makeup. So the first thing I really wanna talk about is the Wonder Glow primer from Charlotte Tilbury. I got this primer I think over two months ago and I've been loving it since. I use it pretty much every time I apply my makeup now. It's just so nice. It gives such a nice radiant glow. I'll give you guys a little swatch of the product so you can see exactly how radiant and glowy it makes your skin. This just makes me look so hydrated but not like oily. This just makes me look really hydrated and glowy, kind of like I have a glow from within. It also really holds my makeup together very nicely throughout the day, so I really like it for that. Um, out of all the like glow radiant primers that I have, I would definitely say this one is probably the best one that I have tried. I love the shade of it. I love that it has like a gold undertone, so it makes you look really nice, healthy, especially if you wear this like just under a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream. This really comes through and it just gives you the most beautiful glow from within. <laughs> I also wanted to mention Deck of Scarlet because you guys know I love them. If you didn't know, now you know, but they're an amazing subscription service. So basically every two months you get a palette and a little extra for $29.95. It's a really good deal. And then each palette is actually in collaboration with like a YouTuber or a beauty blogger. And the reason why I wanted to show you this month's palette is because I think it's one of my favorites that they've ever done. It's so pretty. It's just so fall. I'm also going to swatch these for you guys. You guys, I have to say the formula of these is so nice. You get three eyeshadows, two cheek colors, and two lipsticks. And this month is in collaboration with Raven Elise. She's also a YouTuber and like a beauty blogger. I just wanted to mention it because I love them and I love the concept of the subscription service. So I'll also leave that linked below for you guys if any of you are interested. You're probably wondering what is my favorite foundation, like my go-to ride or die foundation right now. It is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. Let me tell you, this is gold. So I actually discovered this when I did a campaign with Dior a month ago and I didn't think I was gonna like it to be honest because it says face and body foundation which reminds me of the MAC face and body foundation and that one's very very sheer so like barely any coverage. So I was like, eh, you know, it probably doesn't have any coverage. I heard it's sheer to medium so I kind of already set myself up that I wasn't gonna like this foundation. But then I watched um, Tati's video and she had mentioned this foundation and she was wearing it and it looked so beautiful. And the thing that she said about it was that it really looks like skin. And that's when I was like, okay, I really have to try this. So I applied this with my hands. I feel like that's the best way to apply it. But then I blend it out with my um, beauty blender and it looks freaking amazing you guys when I tell you it looks like skin it really does however it is like a sheer to medium but I would say it's very buildable so I do two layers of this and it looks like medium coverage but it looks so flawless it just made my skin look like I wasn't really wearing foundation or I was wearing like a tinted moisturizer but it covered a lot so I was really impressed by this. I use it all the time now. I just can't say enough good things about it. I don't think I've ever been this like impressed with a foundation in a long, long time. I even got my sisters on it. We're all on the bandwagon and I want you guys to be on it because this is a bomb foundation. Also, if you see these bumps on my neck, I apologize. I woke up this morning with like hives all over my chest and my neck and my back. I'm not sure what it's from. It doesn't like itch or anything, but it's just like tiny red bumps everywhere. I try to cover it with makeup for today's video, but I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. So hopefully they'll tell me what this is from. I hope it's just like an allergic reaction. If 
But yeah. The next thing is concealers, and my winner for this month is the new LC Concealers, the Complete Remedy Silk Concealer. Ooh. I've known for a few months that Lilith was working on concealers, and I was really excited. But now that I've tried them, I'm even more impressed. The one thing I really loved about it was the applicator. It stays nice and cold no matter where you keep this. And so when you apply it under your eye, it's just like a nice little soothing massage and also depuffs a little bit. So I really like that she did this type of applicator. These are definitely medium to full coverage concealers. And the thing I like about them is that they don't crease. So some days when I'm not wearing makeup and I just put on some concealer, mascara, brow gel, and I'm out the door, I don't really set it. The shade that I'm using right now is medium, but I know that once we get into the winter months, I'm going to be light medium. Also, the thing I've been loving doing is using the dark shade to cream contour and it has coverage so it covers like a few breakouts that I have on my cheeks so it's really nice for that so yeah really really love this concealer moving on to the face favorites I have been loving these new Sigma palettes this is the sculpt highlight and contour palette and then their new blush palette these came out I think a couple weeks ago at the beginning of this month but I've been using them a little before that because they were able to give me a little sneak preview and I have to say the formula in here is so good and like buttery plus all the shades that you need to contour and highlight are already in one palette so it just makes it more easier and convenient to just travel with and like grab and go um, but this is what the palette looks like. You have three highlighters and three contour shades. I've been using these two to contour and bronze. I'm also wearing this palette on my face right now. Majority of these products I'm talking about I have on just because I wanted to show you guys how it looks on. And I've been using these like every day. So, And then this is the blush palette. She's so cute. So we have two shimmer shades. Well, they're not really shimmery, but they have like a sheen to them. The rest are matte. My go-to's is this this one and this one and then Cordy Rosa. I have on a mixture of these two today and I really like how it just gives you a really nice like rosy finish. This one is really pretty. It's like peachy with a little bit of sheen to it and then this is like perfect if you don't want anything pink but you still want a hint of color. The Cordy Rosa one is beautiful. I do believe some of these are sold separately but I just like the fact that they're in a palette now so it's just easier and yeah. My favorite highlighter for this month is is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. I'm sorry that I'm mentioning a lot of high-end products, but these are just so good. I've actually seen a lot of people raving about this highlighter palette ever since it came out, but the thing I love about this and the thing that really sold me on it, I'm actually wearing it today like everything else is the formula i'll give you guys a swatch as well but it has like a nice blush color a bronzing one um the white one and the gold one is the one that i mix every day so like i said the formula is what sold me on this it's so nice and like buttery so when you apply it it kind of almost melts into your skin and that is why I love it. I'm also going to quickly mention the mascara I've been loving all month, the NARS Climax Mascara. This thing I also thought I wasn't going to love at first um, because I really don't ever use or buy mascaras that have this type of wand. When I tried it, I was obsessed. I pretty much have been wearing this every day since, especially when I don't wear makeup and I need to run out. You guys, I don't wear makeup every day, only when I'm like filming or taking pictures. On a regular basis, I just have on mascara and brow gel and this has been my go-to it makes your lashes so long but like thick at the same time and i don't own a mascara that actually does those two things at once and i do about two to three layers of it and it looks amazing it looks like i kind of have either individuals on or some falsies so bomb mascara the next thing i want to talk about is this new perfume that just came out the daisy love from marc jacobs they actually sent me this like a week ago so i haven't been using it for that long but it's so good that i had to mention it in case you guys are looking for any new fragrances and as we all know i'm really bad at describing scents so i'm just going to read you the notes of this perfume it is with crystallized cloud berries which is kind of like a plant fruit i believe i believe you can eat it too daisy tree petals cashmere musks and drift Wood. All of these things sound so 
yummy but it does smell really good it's definitely not too fruity and not too like musky because i also really hate really musky and like woody perfumes or colognes um, and i really don't like really fruity ones so this is like a really amazing mixture of the two but when i first smelled this it definitely smelled like a hint of flowers but i love it it smells so good okay I'm all about it. The next thing we're gonna talk about are my two favorite glosses right now, the Marc Jacobs Daisy Love, which also launched with the perfume. They have the same name. And the L'Oreal and Camila Cabello Havana Lip Dew Lip Gloss. This one I'm actually wearing right now, and it's so good. It actually feels like a lip balm. It's not sticky whatsoever, and it reminds me of the Fenty lip gloss, the like original one that they have. It's basically the same color, so it's a really nice dupe for that. Um, and then the new Marc Jacobs Daisy Love is more of a nude compared to, you guys know, I'm obsessed with the Sugar Sugar one, and then this is the Daisy Love. I will go ahead and swatch these side by side so you guys can see the difference in the shades, but the Daisy Love one is definitely more nude with a hint of gold and then the sugar sugar one is just like a classic rosy nude these glosses the formula is incredible also not sticky whatsoever and a lot of times when you wear gloss for several hours you can kind of get like a buildup in the inside of your mouth like around the ring and this never happens when I wear this or this so that's why I love them I definitely have to try more shades the only shades that I've tried are these two and I'm obsessed. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you're using any of these products and if you are also loving them. And if you have any new products that you think I should try, definitely leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.